Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back, guys. And today I'm going to solve question 8, part A and C of CSS GSA paper 2019. The question involves setting in order a sequence of piano players within with respect to the defined conditions. So numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, will represent the position of piano players. The first condition is that X cannot play first or second. This means that the earliest possible position for X is 3. The second condition is that W cannot play until X has played. It means that uh, the earliest possible position for W will be 4th as the earliest possible position for X is 3 and W has to play after X. And another thing that if W has to uh, play after X then uh, the uh, position number 7 won't be available for X because X precedes W so if W uh, can play maximum at the seventh number then X should play at uh, 6 or before uh, 6th position the next condition is that either Y or Z must play immediately after W it means that if uh, Z is taken for example here then X precedes W and W precedes Z this means that seventh position is not available for W which will further conclude that the sixth position won't be available for X uh, it is by applying the same analogy that X precedes W and W precedes Z Z or Y, whatever is the case. Next condition is that neither T nor Y can play 7th. Simply we will make unavailable T at number 7th. And uh, same will be done with Y. And the last condition is that V must play immediately after or before U plays. Uh, this means that if U is uh, to play at second number, then uh, V must play first or at third position. So uh, these were all the conditions and the examiner has asked us uh, what, uh, what will be uh, true in the given options if V plays first. So if V plays first, then the second position then can immediately be filled will be with U uh, as uh, V has to play immediately before U or after U so uh, Im immediately playing before U uh, after U is not an option here because V is playing first here so the second position will be filled with you here. Uh, since we have taken, uh, we have already used V, uh, so any of the th these three can be taken as uh, position number three. So let's uh, take T here for example. Uh, let me cut it from here so that we have used it. And after that, we know that X will precede W, W will precede Z. Uh, y and Z and since Y cannot be placed at 7th position so we have to place it before Z so Z is playing at number 7th an alternative arrangement could be uh, swapping the position of uh, Y and W another possibility could be that we use uh, X at number 3 instead of T uh, so uh, in, in this way X W Y and Z 
as t cannot be placed seventh, so t is placed at sixth position. An alternate arrangement could be this one. So the thing uh, which uh, requires our attention is that whatever is the acceptable combination, z is always occupying the position number seven. This can also be uh, concluded by uh, looking at the first table in which X, W, T and Y are not available at 7th position and this also applies to U and V also because V has uh, started first as indicated in the question. So if V is first, it cannot be seventh. And if V is first, then U must be second. So V and U both are not an option for position number seven. So these are not an option for position number seven. So the only option left to play at position number seven is Z. So uh, the examiner asked what must be true so in all of the possible combinations, uh, Z must play 7th. So this was the required solution of the question. Now moving forward to part C of the question. Uh, a diagram was given, uh, let me label it as per the given question. Uh, Americans are represented by the circle A and politicians are represented by uh, the circle P. Now the intersection of these two circles as shown in the highlighted area represents American politicians and the examiner asks us American those are politicians but not scientists so we will exclude the area occupied by the sphere represented by S. So excluding the sphere, the area covered by sphere S, uh, which was denoted by A here, we are left with B. So, American, those are politicians but not scientists, will be denoted by B. Similarly, uh, scientists are represented by S and politicians by this circle P and the intersection of these two spheres is uh, represented by A and F. Now we have to exclude Americans from the highlighted area. Since we know that the uh, Americans are represented by uh, the circle A, so excluding the area of circle A from the highlighted area, we are left with the area which is denoted by letter F. So scientists which are politicians uh, but not Americans will be denoted by F. So uh, this was the required solution of part C. In the next video, uh, I will be solving part B and D of question 8 of CSS GSA 2019 paper. That was all from my side till now. Thank you very much for watching.